Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here and it's actually been a little while since I've done my last video in fact. It's been almost a month since I uploaded a video on this channel. I've mainly just been streaming and doing shorts as of late. But since we got new episode titles and summaries for Pokemon Horizons, well at least two episodes I should say, I wanted to briefly talk about it in this video. Now, real quick before I get into the discussion, I just want to say if you're someone that's discovering this channel for the first time, you're new, and you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and also be sure to watch the video throughout. Watch time is very important with a YouTube video, so I would really appreciate it if you watched the video from beginning to end, or at least most of it. But anyways, I do a variety of different content on my channel. I cover this series... I've been doing live streams, usually on Fridays or Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, talking about the episode with people or whoever shows up. I do streams every week. I do various different games. Right now I'm doing Tears of the Kingdom for Legend of Zelda. And I do Mario Kart and Smash Bros. and other games as well. So be pretty cool if you subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want me to talk about regarding Horizons, uh... Be sure to put in the comment section down below and I will consider it for a potential future video. So yeah, anyways, let's talk about these episodes now, shall we? Now, Pokemon Horizons Episode 11 that airs on June 16th is titled The All of Us Forest. Liko and Roy head for the forest where Brassius said he encountered the Black Rayquaza, with Molly from the Rising Volt Tacklers deciding to come along out of interest. On the way, the three of them see the tragic remnants of a wildfire, though oddly enough, they... They spot the spot they're heading for didn't get burned at all. They start their search for Rayquaza, but eventually end up getting separated from each other. In the meantime, the all of us said to live in the forest started taking action as well. Hmm. Now I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to this episode, I'm both intrigued and slightly uninterested in it. And let me explain. On one hand, I think it's pretty interesting. That we got a genuine flow between these episodes because obviously as of episode 9, Liko and Freed are heading over to Brassius' gym because he spotted the Black Rayquaza and obviously Roy is going to join them as well. But this is basically a continuation from that episode. So based on what happens in episode 10, we're going to be heading to this forest to find the Black Rayquaza. So I think that's pretty cool. There's a nice flow between these episodes and I just like how the plot just keeps going. So... Technically, this ain't filler, but when it comes to this episode, um, it does feel a little bit filler-ishy, just because it's, oh, we got lost in the forest. I mean, how many times has that happened in the Pokemon anime? A lot. But at the same time, there's a lot of interesting things going on here. We're looking for the Black Rayquaza. There's a forest that basically endured a wildfire, which is actually kind of crazy to see, so it's going to be interesting to see how the characters react to this. I also find it interesting that Molly is joining, of all characters, so Freed's not going to be involved, so this is going to be interesting to see how Liko and Roy handle themselves, along with Molly. They're also going to get separated, too, at some point. So will they be able to, you know, handle things on their own? Are they going to be battling effectively? They're getting a little bit better, but they still got a long way to go, so that's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, I just like the genuine flow between these episodes, and again, yeah, a little... It does feel a little fillerish just because it's like, oh, we got lost in the forest. We're separated. That's been done multiple times. But at the same time, there's a lot of interesting context going on here. And I also want to mention really quickly that I'm glad that Liko and Roy aren't challenging the gyms. It just seems like the gym leaders are there to advance the plot in a different way. By, in this case, Brassius pointing out where he saw the Black Rayquaza because there's a genuine flow going here. So I think that's pretty nice. And yeah. Look forward to this episode when it airs on June 16th. Now, Pokemon Horizons episode 12 airs on June 23rd as titled, The Future I Choose. Liko and Roy once again saw the horrors of the wildfire before their eyes, leading to Liko deciding to bring the forest back to life for the sake of the wild Pokemon that used to live there. The group got help from their fellow Rising Volt Tacklers to plant berries and till the soil, until something strange happened to the Alva that saw them hard at work. In addition, Liko's pendant started shining again. Now I gotta say that I'm actually really intrigued with this episode title and summary. The future I choose reminds me a little bit of Go, but 
the interesting thing here is in the context of Liko and Roy seeing this the horrors of this wildfire that transpired in this forest and Liko wanted to bring it back to life it makes me wonder if maybe she wants to go like wherever she goes in the future just to help out Pokemon that are in need maybe this is something that she wants to do and that's the future she chooses to help out Pokemon wherever she goes not really certain but this does relate back to episode 4 where Poi Coco ate those Pokemon's berries in that episode and they all got angry and Liko and Roy and the Rising Volt Tacklers end up gathering a bunch of food and berries and giving it to the Pokemon. Kind of seems like the same thing's happening here except Liko is basically getting everybody to help out the forest that's been damaged by this wildfire and bring it back to life. I don't know but I find it to be very interesting. But another thing that I think is going to be driving the plot here is obviously uh, how things end off here. Like with something strange happening to the Pokemon in the forest that are watching them working. And then Liko's pendant reacting. So it makes me wonder if the Black Rayquaza is like nearby or something like that. And that's what they're reacting to. Could it be that the Black Rayquaza actually caused the wildfires or was it another Pokemon? That's to be seen but I am very excited for this one. I think this is going to be an interesting one. And with each episode kind of leading into the next one, it seems like every episode, almost every episode, seems to end off in a cliffhanger of some sort. So I'm interested to see how this episode ends and goes into episode 13. Because it seems like we have a little bit of an arc here. We're in Paldea. We're in this forest now. Where are we going to go from here? That's the one thing that I'm enjoying about this series, is, is you just don't know what's going to happen next. So we're going into the unknown, so it's genuinely exciting. So, I look forward to this episode when it airs on June 23rd. Alrighty guys, that's all I got for this video, so in the comments section down below, I'd like to hear your thoughts now. What do you think about these episode titles and summaries? What are your genuine thoughts going into these episodes? Which one are you most excited for? Do you think Liko is going to get a new goal out of this? The future I choose seems kind of interesting. Maybe it's something she wants to do in the future. Just, are you looking forward to anything here? I'd like to hear your thoughts, so um, go ahead and post them in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, if you're someone that's new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yeah, have a good day or night regret, and I will see you all later. Bye.